My family always complains to me about always being on my phone. I can't help it though. My phone holds a pretty big part of my life. From Snapchat to actual text messages, it's hard to get off of it. A typical teenager spends almost half of the d their day on their phone. We also use our iPads for schoolwork, which uh, adds to the amount of time we spend on electronic devices. Is, is our genera generation actually addicted? Do you consider yourself addicted to your phone? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. A yeah. little bit. A little bit. Yes. If we are addicted and we know it, why don't we do anything about it? I mean, our parents always get mad at us, but they don't really have any real consequences. Have your parents ever gotten mad at you for using your phone too much? Um, well, one time I was on my phone and I wasn't paying attention and my mom was asking me to watch the food that was in the oven and I didn't really hear her because I was playing on my phone and so uh, the food s started to burn and it started to smell like smoke and uh, she got really mad at me. Have you? Well, a couple times I've been in the car with my mom and my dad and when they're talking to me about something important I'm just on my phone and responding, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. And um, when they realize that I'm not listening they get really, really mad at me because I'll miss things that they ask me to do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They don't normally do anything about it. They just kind of complain about it. Say, oh, Jack, you're glued to your phone. Threatened to, like, take away my iPad. Or also what I did was I moved a TV into my room without telling them. And they constantly threatened to take it out, but they never do. <laughs> All of us have a record of most of our lives on our phones. And there's no going back to the days where all you could do was call someone on their home line. We just have to be aware of when we need to put our phones down.